Okay, so this is another free response question that we're looking at. And uh, the question here is um, about a z-score and it being unusual. unusual. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and get started, right? So a wildlife study, scientists studying a certain species of frogs know that past records indicate the adults should weigh an average of 118 grams. Okay, so this is going to be our mean, all right, with a standard deviation of 14 grams. Now that's the population standard deviation, so we're, we're talking about something a little bit different here. So the mean is going to be 118 grams, and our sigma, the actual population standard deviation, is going to be 14. Uh, the researchers collect a random sample of 50 adult frogs. The random is going to be uh, important for our assumptions. In their sample, the mean weight was only 110 grams. So our X bar, our measured mean weight, is going to be 110 grams. Okay. One of the scientists is alarmed, fearing that the environmental changes may be adversely affecting the frogs. Do you think this sample result is unusually low? Right. So we're looking for unusually low. Well, the idea here is that I need to draw a normal model because I do have a random sample. Frogs should be independent for the most part. Okay. Um, I do have at least I don't I don't know about the ten successes and failures with the with the means, okay. But I do have a <clears throat> I draw that I drew that terrible, um, okay. So let me let me draw that again. Sorry, sorry. All right. So now I'm going to put my center in. So there's the 118. Now. What's my variability if sigma is 14? Okay, now I can't just keep going 14 to the right and 14 to the left. That's not actually going to work. I have a sample size of 50, and that makes a big difference here. So the variability that I'm going to experience, my standard deviation from my sample is going to be based on sigma divided by the square root of n. Okay, and so now I don't actually need to do anything else but use that formula. So I'm going to have 14 over the square root of 50. And of course I just throw my calculator up and <clears throat> I have 14 divided by uh, the square root of 50. And I tab out from underneath and I hit enter. And I basically get 2. And 2 is really going to help me out, right? So this is basically 2. And so now one standard deviation looks like uh, 120 up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down, and one standard deviation down is 116, two standard deviations down is 114, three standard deviations down is 112, four standard deviations down is 110. Well, well now I'm one, two, three, four, four standard deviations away from the mean. Um, that's pretty unusual. All right, that's small okay now I can't say whether the environmental changes are affecting the frogs or whether it's something else but certainly you can say um, that that is a small or unusually low sample okay so uh, that takes care of this video